Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Now I wanna talk about some music. I wanna talk about Chloe Bailey. She just released her new song, Boy Bye. And I am loving this song. I'm loving this whole direction that Chloe is moving into. She's doing a more alternative pop sound with this song. And I think it's gonna work. I like the fact that she's kind of toned down the whole vixen image a little bit and kind of got into her natural state and she's just singing and having fun and i feel like it's more natural i feel like it's more comfortable and i feel like it's really her lane and yes this sound is different from what she has done before but i think it's gonna work i said this in one of my previous videos i think this whole pop direction that chloe is moving into is gonna work because she does it so well but yeah, I like the song Boy Bye. I like the production. I even like the video. I like the breakdown in the end where she's playing piano and she's just rocking out and having fun. I just feel like this whole rebrand that I'm starting to see from Chloe is working. And this song will appeal to a certain demographic. I mean, it does have the vibes of a Paramore, a Willow Smith. It has those Charlie XCX vibes. It has that pop alternative sound. And the production is very reminiscent of Outkast's song, Hey Ya. And it might not completely resonate with people who are strictly R&B listeners, but I do think it has the appeal to reach different audiences all over. So I do think the song is going to be a sleeper hit. It might take some time to catch on for some people, but I think the more people listen to it, the more people will like it. I actually like it. Now I wanna talk about Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion got called out recently for allegedly lying about having a nose job. So Live Bits actually caught this live video of Megan addressing the nose job rumors and she denied ever having any procedure. This is what she said. I never read the comments. Okay, then we don't got no filter on because I want the be I want the to you know I'm gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She gorgeous, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They be like, oh my gosh, she got her nose done. No, y'all hoes wish I got my nose done. That's why you work too much. When do we have even downtime? That only take like months and years. Y'all, y'all hoes need to comprehend how much recovery surgery take. <laughs> y'all need to comprehend the, the recovery time surgery take. And she been on your all. I put in your. Since 2017. <laughs> <laughs> At what point in life I had time to lay down and let you hoes breathe? <laughs> Keep up, ho. That's real, though. Y'all swear to God, it'll be fine in real life. So Megan denied having a nose job. However, this account named A Surgeon Made Curves actually called Megan out and they actually specialize in clocking celebrities who get surgical work done. And they feel like Megan lied about getting some procedure done on her nose. They said, Megan Thee Stallion who has made it on my page once again, but this one is on her. Bringing up the topic plastic surgery over and over is always going to start commotion on my page and I wouldn't be surgeon made if it didn't. Nonetheless, the girl's glow up is top notch, gorgeous, top tier, and I love it. Honestly, she's one of the girlies who did it so well and didn't rush it or overdo it. I wish she'd be able to talk about it because it's great work and we can learn from it. But here we are. I placed the pictures and some key facts up there so you guys could see more from my point of view. I explained so much in my IG story, so refer back to it for my inner thoughts that I can't put into written words. Allegedly, she's had ethnic rhinoplasties done two or more times. Vote rhinoplasty surgeons, please feel free to tap in. The most obvious changes were made to the bridge of her nose and also the bulbous tip point of the nose, which is made of cartilage and skin covering. There's no way around it. Skin slash cartilage equals rhinoplasty. Please be advised that this is the number one surgery T blog. So yes, I do care. And yes, we will discuss surgery every single time. No, she doesn't owe anyone an explanation, but she doesn't have to bring it up and continuously lie about it over and over. Cause here I come. And there was a plastic surgeon who came into the comments and said, as a plastic surgeon, she 100% had a rhinoplasty, likely a close approach if she doesn't have any external scarring. So you have some people who are accusing Megan of lying and saying that she absolutely had some work done on her nose. And the question is, does it really matter if she had work done or not? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> to be honest, 
if she had work done, I will say the work is absolutely exquisite because the changes aren't too drastic. She subtly made changes over the years. So it doesn't seem like she completely changed her face. Also, she lost weight and she contours a lot. So you can't really pinpoint when she got the work done simply because it's just been a subtle change over the years. But if you compare older pictures to now, you could definitely see an obvious change. And I think she got some really good work done, honestly. I think it's very impressive to look at the change and see how natural it looks. It doesn't look crazy. She doesn't look cartoonish. But even though she got work done, it's not something that she seems like she wants to admit, which is why she's lying about it now. She knows that she won't get brownie points if she admits to that. And some people might use that as a way to discredit her natural beauty. But if you look at her older pictures, she was never ugly. She actually looked just fine without the alleged nose job. But I understand that some people might get some work done to have a more symmetrical look. It doesn't necessarily mean that they hate their features or they hate themselves. Sometimes they wanna do a few tweaks here and there that will fit their face better. Now, moving on to the last topic, I wanna talk about Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. It seems like their divorce is getting messier and messier. For those who don't know, last year, Jeezy filed for divorce from Jeannie Mai after only being married for two years. And we still don't know the reason why. I speculated that maybe Jeezy got tired of Jeannie's controlling behavior and her anger. I kind of thought her attitude played a part in this, but honestly, Jeezy has never been the committed type. He never committed to any of the mothers of his children. So it's not fair to put the blame on Jeannie completely because truthfully, Jeezy is not built for marriage. There's still a lot of childhood trauma that he needs to unpack and a lot of things he has to work through before getting into another serious relationship. I think he married Jeannie because he thought that she was gonna offer something different, but he realized that that wasn't the case. And so he left the relationship and it kind of left Jeannie in a frenzy because he left her with a two-year-old child to raise. So now she's a single mother and she didn't sign up for that at all. So she's not gonna let this marriage go without a fight. At least she's not going to let this marriage go without getting something from it. So now she's been contesting the prenup. She actually asked the judge to hold off on enforcing it because she wants to see if she could get some money. She did claim that Jeezy allegedly was talking to other women and having inappropriate conversations that can be deemed as cheating. And cheating is definitely a violation of the prenup and Jeezy would have to pay up if he was found guilty of cheating. He claims that he didn't cheat, but allegedly he was talking to some women while he was still married to Jeannie, and one of his former associates even exposed him on that. Jeezy, you're not a real nigga, you know why? Because your wife just came out and said you cheated on her. You cheated on her. She said she did not cheat on you, and I believe her, because I know you, nigga. I know you. And I could probably pick on who you cheated on with her with. Because a few bitches I know you still stay in contact with. I know because they told me I talked to them. Mm -mm -mm. Now this might get Jeezy in trouble too. Jeannie also has been exerting more control over the custody of their daughter. And according to Jeezy, she has been gatekeeping their child. And Jeannie did clarify that she has safety concerns concerning their daughter. She doesn't feel like Jeezy can be completely trusted with the daughter simply because she doesn't know the caregivers that he's bringing around her daughter. And also she's a little nervous about the firearms he has in the home. Even though Jeezy claimed that his firearms are secured and completely locked away, she still doesn't like the idea of her daughter being in the home with them there. And I think that is a little funny because she married Jeezy knowing that he has firearms, but now it's a problem. I don't know, I think that's funny, but it appears as if she's micromanaging how their daughter is gonna be raised. And it does come across as a bit controlling and it seems as if she doesn't completely trust her daughter around Jeezy. Now Jeezy is at a point where he is fighting back and now he's claiming that Jeannie ain't around the daughter enough to be in her custody. Now he wants primary custody over their daughter, Monaco. TMZ was able to get some new legal documents on it and 
According to Jeezy, he feels like Jeannie has an extensive travel schedule and it isn't good for their kid. And she has withheld his parenting time with their kid for two months. Also, he feels like the child would have more stability if he had primary custody. I'm going to be honest with you all. This does seem like a petty attempt for Jeezy to get a one up on Jeannie. He wants full custody because he doesn't want to pay that child support. He already has been trying to enforce the prenup because he's not trying to pay out any money to Jeannie. And now he wants custody of the daughter because he ain't trying to pay her child support either. So what he's doing is shameless and him trying to make it seem like Jeannie is not around their child enough is super petty. Yes, Jeannie does work. Yes, she has to balance her career while being a single mother, but that doesn't mean that she's not an active parent. So Jeezy is tripping and it's obvious what he's doing, but I will say Jeannie has given him some incentive to do this because she herself has been making it more complicated for Jeezy to even see his daughter. So they both have been making this whole thing contentious and it just comes to show you that they should have never been together. The only good thing that came from it is their daughter, Monaco. But for their daughter's sake, I do hope they're able to get it together and just find a way to co-parent without all of this tension. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.